how to run. So I want to show you how to uh, create a hand in Maya and then bring it back into ZBrush. So I choose to use Maya this time because um, I think it might be easier for us to get the blocky shapes. And then I'll add the organic part of the shapes in uh, ZBrush itself. Okay, so in Maya, I'm going to do a cube, something like this. And I'll extract this area. Okay, and then I'm going to extend the fingers. Um, as cubes like this, and then I'll duplicate four times. Then for this part of the uh, thumb, I'm also going to extract it out like this. Okay, so that is my plan. Uh, reference being used for the female hands. Um, always good to have some reference, and then I'll uh, also share some of these reference with you, male and female hands. All right, so let's get started. Create a cube in Maya. I'll just bring this cube up and then I'll hold down V, V for Ven. So when you hold down V, uh, snap to points is activated and then the center part becomes circle like this. So with uh, the thing in the circle, I can snap this right at the center part of the hand. And then I'm just going to go to the side. I want to have something thin to begin with. Okay, so I'll just uh, place this here. Okay, so this is, uh, I think, quite a good start. Top part, I'll just uh, taper it in a little bit more. And I'll be uh, pretty ready to go from here. Alright, so I would extract this. Uh, not extract, sorry. I would create the edge loop here. And then another edge loop here. Okay, two edge loops. So first, uh, this this part I'll just extrude it out. I would scale this down a little bit and then rotate it upwards slightly. Okay, so I have uh, this side open up. For the bottom part, I'll select this face. I'll extrude it downwards. Okay, a little bit too bad here. So I'll push this in. the end I want it to be more tapered so I'll keep it to be more tapered and I'll push this outwards like this the first finger is probably not so long I'll just take note of that okay so now I'll add another two edge loops one here on the side one here okay I'm just gonna move the uh, fingers a little bit so it looks a bit more natural. Okay, so my first finger is like this. Right. So now I have uh, this part done. I kind of want to adjust this plane, this little edge here to be more outward so it's uh, it's a bit thicker maybe this this two edge as well just a little tiny bit thicker not too much all right so now i want to duplicate this part to get the fingers i'll select all this face and then I press ctrl shift i to invert and delete off everything so I only have uh, this part duplicated. I'll close the hole. And then I would do a delete history, freeze, and bring it to the center, pivot. Okay, I'll stretch this uh, finger to be a little bit longer. And then I would uh, adjust the angle a little bit so it looks a little bit different from the first finger. give it a little bit of characteristics it's also a little bit longer but not too much okay so uh we are not worried about the topology not being perfect over here because what i'm doing is that later i'm gonna fix everything in zbrush as mentioned to you before so uh dynamesh will fix that for me okay so i just for the last two fingers it's just shorter so i don't really want to scale it down i just want it to be shorter 
I do want to uh, rotate it a little bit so it looks a bit different. If we get the last one. Just in a bit. Okay, last finger is going to be a bit smaller, so I'll scale this down just slightly, and I'm also going to make it a bit shorter. Don't scale down too much so because uh, the finger size are still should be relatively similar. Um, I'm going to rotate it a little bit more, make it more interesting to look at. Okay, so now I would. Go back to this face. I'll extrude this one time. Paper it out. So that's the first extrude. Extrude it the second time. Paper it more. And oh wow, it's really thin. Maybe I want to make this a little bit thicker. Since this is the thumb, let me see. Yep, so more like this. A little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my shape like this. So uh, pretty simple. Then I touch up more on the brush itself. Okay, so maybe uh, okay, maybe before that one last edge, I'll adjust this slightly higher. Just like this. Okay, so now I'm ready. Select all these parts. I'll do a combine. Just uh, keep my files in Maya neat. Yeah, I export this selection as as my hand. Okay, I'm gonna go into ZBrush. I'm gonna duplicate this um, as a placeholder shape. I'm gonna have a placeholder shape. So when I import in the hand, it will replace the placeholder shape here. So you need to duplicate one time, don't forget that. Um, so what's happening here? So uh, just import in the hands. Okay, so now the hands are in, the poly count is low, so I'll just bring it up to 250 resolution, do a polish and then dynamesh. Okay, so looking pretty cool. I'll isolate just the hands and work on this uh, area here. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, when I'm adding a uh, number one brush. I have my back face mask on, so it doesn't affect the other side. Just so you know. Uh, for the front, I'm also going to add details here. So this is actually pretty fun. This is my number one brush. The size smaller. Maybe a bit of lazy radius. Ok, 
Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of places where I can add some details all around. I can redynamish this. Start start to smooth this a little bit. So I want this to be organic. I also want it the, the blocky parts to be there. Okay, so I start to make this a little bit rounder, as you can see. And then the at the tip of the uh, tip of the fingers, I'm gonna keep them smoother. So it becomes more rounded the tip. Let me pinch this it's a little bit pinch. Pinch, pinch. Pinch. I was also going to um, add a bit more thickness to this uh, hand, especially the back of the palm. of details so don't need to be too much because uh, later it might be lost again okay so generally it's uh it's getting better okay now i want to merge this together with my main body so i'll just do a merge down here Then I'll do a dynamesh again. I'm gonna join this part closer. Okay, so now everything will make a bit more sense together. You have a better sense of um, what is required. So maybe 240 resolution. So now these details that you add now would be um, closer to final. For the hands.
going to isolate this. Oops. Isolate this. Use number five brush to push in on some of these areas. So it's a little bit more subtle than number six brush. We don't need too much as well. But just a bit would be really nice. Indication for the thumbs. Or five brush. The front part of this thumb here, maybe I want to use number six brush to just scrub a little bit. Doing a little bit more massaging the points. Okay, so after I'm done, I'm just gonna mirror to the other side. Oh, wonder why the uh, mirror looks a bit different now. So maybe I move it accidentally.
side view still looks a bit thin. I'll just get a bit thicker. Okay, so now I'm done fixing it, and then I off my local symmetry, so everything is at the center. So sometimes you may want local symmetry to be on, sometimes you may not want local symmetry to be on. Okay, so I think uh, I'm done with this hand for now. I um, feel like it's not totally perfect yet, but I don't want the video to be too long again. And then, um, yep, so I hope you learned something from this tutorial. You can still um, adjust it more on your own after this. And then I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.